Welcome. I recently created a video that showed how to find the SQL query behind an Oracle standard form. But today I had a different question because I wanted to see the accounting entries behind an AP invoice. So I had an AP invoice, this one here, and then I went to reports, view accounting, and I had this old framework page. And I wanted to create a nice blitz report showing these accounting entries, but uh, I needed to find the SQL query. So on the old framework pages, you can have, find the SQLs behind this about this page link on the bottom right corner. This link needs to be activated by a profile option. Uh, so there's a set of profile options that you would need to set. You can find them easily on Google. And then once you have that activated, you have here one section that shows the business component reference details. And all of these hyperlinks, they are usually one SQL query. So this one, for example, is an SQL query. And to find the right one, I usually just guess from the names. So this one here, the first one, for example, that looks like it, jet lines image. And clicking on it, you have an SQL query. And you can copy the query and place it into your SQL development tool. Let me also format it properly. Okay, so this looks a about right because it looks at the XLA tables. So let's execute it. Yeah, it doesn't show any data because it has bind values or bind variables from one, two, three, four. And now we don't know which values to use for these bind variables here in the SQL query. And for that, we have a blitz report because we have in Oracle, when we launch the blitz report, there is one report called DBA SGA SQL performance summary which shows all the database uh, SQLs, all the SQLs currently in the database memory. And we can run this report, for example, for all the queries that are executed by the Oracle application framework. And to find only this SQL, I would also add a SQL text part of it. So I would look for something fairly unique about this SQL, for example, this, this text here, and add it into the search box and then we should find the SQL query. So here this is the blitz report showing the SQL ID, the SQL statement and further to write more statistics. For example, how often the SQL was executed and also how many records were returned for every execution. 14 records, that sounds about right. But now we still don't have the bind values and to see the bind values, we have a parameter here, which is called show bind values. So we can set it to yes and run it again. And it shows one record for every bind value in, that was used for this SQL. Actually one record for every bind value and every capture date, because if you execute the SQL multiple times, not all the bind values might be captured, but uh, you see the time of the capture date here, that looks like a few minutes ago, so it's about right. And you see the first value is 200, second, that's probably the application ID, second is AP invoices and so on. So let's just copy these values and enter them into toad. So we have 200, this one, that was number one. And the last one is this one. Okay, we still don't see any data returned by the SQL. And that is most likely because we are executing it from Toad and don't have the session context initialized to the current login user. Whereas when it's executed here from the application, it has the session context of the login user. And to simulate the session context, we have an additional report in Blitz report called FND Responsibility Access. And that report can be run for a specific user and specific responsibility. Now I'm logged in as the Payables Manager Vision Operations. So I'm selecting these values and run the report for these parameters. And we have one record then for the responsibility and the user. And also the report also shows us, for example, which ledgers can be accessed from that responsibility or which operating units and also which inventory org. So it's quite useful to validate those things. And further to the right, we have a column called SQL session in it. And this column 
the value in there can be used to initialize the session in the SQL access tool. So here, let me just copy and paste. Now it's executed and let's run the SQL query again. And now we see the data here. So, so we could use it now to create uh, a nice Blitz report for these accounting entries. That was my tip for today. Thanks for watching.